click on any train to start playing. Now, choose your level. Click, click on the green train to start the story, or click on the track to play the extra game. It was a sunny spring morning on the island of Sodor. Over at the engine shed, everyone was very excited. The fat controller had a very important job for one of his engines. A shipment of animals for the zoo has just arrived. I need a reliable engine to deliver them from Brendam Docks to the zoo right away. I can do it, said Thomas. But James also wanted to deliver the animals, because he loved to do important jobs. Can I please take the animals? said James. I will be very careful. Thomas could tell that James really wanted to do the job, so he agreed to let James take his place. You can go, James, said Thomas. But you must promise to go straight there warned the fat controller. James was very happy. Of course, he said, puffing out a big cloud of steam. You can rely on me. The fat controller was pleased that Thomas had been so kind to James. You are a really useful engine, Thomas. I know you would like to help too. So you can go to the station by the zoo to help James when he arrives, he said. Yes, sir, said Thomas. It's a big load, James. You will need some help, said the fat controller. But who could he get to do it? Who do you think can help James deliver the animals? Have another go. Yes, that's right. The troublesome trucks can help James. Oh no, groaned James. Not the troublesome trucks. Yes, James, said the fat controller. You will have to make sure they behave themselves. All right, grumbled James. But how many trucks will I need? There's a giraffe, a zebra, an ostrich, an elephant, and a kangaroo to be delivered to the zoo, said the fat controller. Two animals can go in each truck, apart from the elephant. She's very big and will need her own truck, he said. So that means I'll need three, said James and he tooted three times on his whistle. <coughs> Click on three trucks to carry on with the story. That's right. Well done. Count one, two, three, as the trucks are illuminated. Back at the shed, the troublesome trucks were being their usual troublesome selves. James, said the trucks, do you know the way to the docks? We don't want to get lost. Of course, puffed James proudly. I could find the way with my eyes closed. The trucks grumbled and ground their wheels together, making James's job very difficult. Come on said James. I can't waste any more time. I mustn't be late. James has to hitch up the troublesome trucks, but the track isn't finished. Fill in the gaps in the track using the pieces at the bottom of the screen. When you've filled them all, click on the arrow button to hitch up the trucks. 
Just click on any piece of track to start playing. Well done! You've finished the track. Now click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go. Well done! You've finished the track. Now click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go. Well done! You've finished the track. Now click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go. Well done! You've finished the track. Now click on the flashing blue arrow button. Here we go. Brilliant! You've finished the game. Now James is ready to go. Story again. James hitched up the troublesome trucks and started on his journey. He was very happy that he had been given such an important job to do. trucks teased James. Going to get lost, going to get lost, as they clanked along. James wasn't listening. This job is so easy, he puffed. I'm the most important engine on the island. <laughs> faster and faster he went. Every time he went round a corner, or through a tunnel, he gave a long blast on his whistle to show everyone what an important job he was doing. When he reached the docks, he was in for a big surprise. Instead of one boat, there were five. How could he find out which one held the animals? Can you help James find out which boat the animals are on? Roll your mouse over each boat and listen to the sounds you hear. Then click on the boat you think has the animals.
Yes, that's the one. James was pleased that he had found the right boat, and he rolled down the track to where it was waiting. Far above, he could just see the animals on the deck. But how was he going to get the animals from the boat into the trucks? He looked around to see who could help. Who do you think can help James? Click on the one who can lift the animals from the boat into the trucks. Yes, of course. Cranky can do it. Cranky, James tooted. I'm glad you're here to help. But Cranky was being cranky. Come on, he snapped. I haven't got all day. So James pushed and pulled the trucks until they were in the right place. Now, said Cranky, which crate is for which animal? James was confused. He had no idea that each animal would need a different crate. You silly steamy, cranked Cranky. Don't you know which crates I need to use? If you can't tell me, who can? Cranky is going to help James to transport the animals from the boat to the trucks. There are five different crates and five different animals. Look at the animal, then listen and click on the crate you hear described. The zebra needs a red sling. Brilliant! That's the one you need. Now you need to make the crate to carry the animal. Click on the pieces and drop them in the right place to make the correct shape. Fantastic! You've done it! Hooray! Here comes the zebra! The ostrich will need a wire cage with yellow stripes. Great! That's the correct one. Well done! You've finished! Can you see? The ostrich is coming! <laughs> the giraffe needs a tall wooden box. Great! That's the correct one. Fantastic! You've done it! Look, they're lowering the giraffe! <laughs> the kangaroo needs a long wooden box. 
great. That's the correct one. Fantastic! You've done it! Look! Cranky's lowering the kangaroo! <laughs> the elephant needs a big metal cage. Yes, that's just what you need. Fantastic! You've done it! Down comes the elephant. Splendid! All the animals are safely in the trucks. Now James can be on his way. Once all the animals were safely in the trucks and the crates removed, James pulled slowly out of the docks, being careful not to frighten the animals. He was very proud that he'd been chosen to do such an important job. I'm the best! I'm the best! he puffed. Then he had an idea. What if he went to see his friend Bertie on the way? He knew it wasn't the way he was supposed to go, but it wouldn't take long. If he went through Knapford, Bertie could see the animals and he would know what an important engine James was. So when James arrived at the next junction, he decided to go to Knapford instead of straight to the zoo. Do you know which of these is Bertie? Click on the one you think is Bertie. Well done! Of course, that's Bertie! James chugged merrily through the countryside. He was thinking how surprised Bertie would be when he saw the animals. <laughs> then he came to another junction. He looked to the left and looked to the right. But which way was it to Knapford? He couldn't remember. Both tracks looked very familiar. In the end, he decided to go straight on. Click on the points lever to make James go straight on. James was happy that he was going to see his friend Bertie. He also thought about how pleased the fat controller would be when he arrived at the zoo on time with all the animals. Back at the engine shed, Thomas saw that it was time to go and meet James at the zoo. 
Come on, said his driver. We have to get going. Thomas puffed up a big cloud of steam and off he went. To the zoo, to the zoo, he wished. Thomas couldn't wait to get to the zoo and went as fast as he could. Then, as he came through a tunnel, he saw a man on the bridge ahead waving a red flag. Slow down, Thomas, said his driver, slamming on the brakes. That means there's been an accident. We have to stop. Thomas's brakes squealed and screeched as he came to a halt just in time. That was close. His driver was right. A lorry had turned over and spilled the toys it was carrying across the track. What a mess! Luckily, Harold was already at the scene. Don't worry, Thomas, he whirred. We'll soon have this lot sorted out and you can be on your way. Help Harold clear the toys blocking the railway line. Click on the shape that matches the one you can see on the lorry. Well done. You chose the correct one. That's right, those two shapes are the same. Excellent! That's the right shape. Yes, that's the correct shape. Yes, that's the correct shape.
That's right. Those two shapes are the same. Once all the toys had been cleared, Thomas was ready to be on his way. Thanks, Harold, said Thomas. No problem, buzzed Harold. All part of my job. And he whirred off, humming happily. Come on, Thomas, said his driver. We'll have to be quick or we're going to be late. Thomas didn't want to keep James waiting, so he went as fast as he could. When Thomas arrived at the station, the fat controller was waiting for him. Ah, Thomas, you're here at last, he said. But where are James and the troublesome trucks? And where are the animals? Thomas was surprised that they hadn't arrived yet. The fat controller didn't look very happy, and he took out his watch. They should be here by now. It's already two o'clock. Fat Controller's watch says it's two o'clock. Can you click on the number two? That's right. That's the number two. James was in the forest. Oh, dear, he said. I don't like this at all. He tried to remember the way he had come. I went left, then right, then right again. Oh, dear, I think I'm lost. Behind him, the troublesome trucks grumbled to each other. Told you so, told you so. He stopped and let out a long sigh of steam. I must try to remember where I went wrong. James is trying to remember the way he went before he got lost in the forest. At some of the junctions, he chose which way to go. When you hear him describe the way he went, Click on the arrow that points the correct way. Now, oh, let me see. I came to a junction and I definitely went over a bridge. That's right. He went that way. I remember that I went between two bushes which both had red flowers. Well done. You chose the right direction. Next, I went across a patch of sand. Well done. You chose the right direction. I'm sure that I went through a tunnel. Excellent. I remember going past a blue house. Excellent. 
I know that next I went by a red house. Of course, that's the way he went. I went in front of a station. Excellent. Splendid. You found James, but he's still lost. He'll need some help from Thomas to find his way back. At the station, everyone was wondering what could possibly have happened to James. Thomas, said the fat controller, I am worried about James and the animals. I think you'd better go and look for them. Yes, sir, right away, said Thomas. I am going to send Harold along to help. Thomas sped off as fast as his wheels could carry him. Then the fat controller telephoned ahead to Harold. James and some valuable animals are lost. I want you to help Thomas look for them. Harold was more than happy to help, and he got ready to take off. Click on Harold's rotor blades as fast as you can to make Harold take off. Hooray! Up we go! In the forest, James was well and truly lost. Oh dear, oh dear, what can I do now? Behind him, the trucks grumbled and groaned. We're tired, we need a rest, these animals are heavy. James couldn't decide what to do. Should he go forward? Should he go back? In the end, he decided to stop right where he was. Can we have a rest too, said the trucks. If we let the animals out, we can rest and they can have something to eat. James looked at the trucks and then at the animals. They did look hungry. In the end, the trucks made such a fuss that James agreed. I don't suppose it can do any harm, he said. But there was still one problem. Neither James nor the trucks knew what the animals liked to eat. Do you know what this animal likes to eat? Look at the pictures of different foods and click on the food that you think it eats. Well done. That's what that animal likes to eat. Thomas was puffing along the track as fast as he could go when Harold appeared. Hello there, Thomas, he buzzed. I'm here to lend a hand. Thomas was very pleased to see Harold. Harold, you go ahead and search for James. I will get there as soon as I can. Right, said Harold. That's a good idea. I'll be on my way. He buzzed along as fast as he could, looking carefully for James and the trucks. But the further he went, the cloudier it was. James and the trucks are lost in the forest, and Harold is looking for them. 
move Harold around by using the arrow keys on your keyboard or clicking with your mouse. Blow away the clouds with his rotor blades until you find James. Aha! Who's this we've found? It's Percy! But we have to find James. Is that one of the animals we've found? Oh no! It's only a sheep. Keep looking. That's it. The clouds are all gone. Now Harold can go and find Thomas and tell him exactly where James is. James was very glad to see Harold buzzing overhead. I'm here! I'm here! he cried. Right, James. I'm going to tell Thomas. We'll come back soon. And off he whirred to tell Thomas the good news. Well done, said Thomas. It's lucky you're such a good rescue helicopter, Harold. Just doing my duty, said Harold. Now follow me and we'll be there in no time. At last, Thomas... Harold, James, and the troublesome trucks were reunited. Cinders and ashes, James, puffed Thomas. Where have you been? The fat controller isn't happy at all. James began to explain, and then Thomas saw that the animals were gone. Where are the animals? Before James could say anything, the troublesome trucks butted in. We told him not to let them out, but he wouldn't listen. But, but, said James. Never mind that, James, said Thomas. We'd better hurry up and find them. The fat controller is well. animals are hiding in the bushes and you need to catch them. Make a noise by clicking on any bush with your mouse. The animals will look to see what the noise is. Once an animal appears, click on it to put it back in the truck. But be quick. It's the well done. There's the ostrich.
It's the Zep. There's the kangaroo. Well done. Quick, it's the zebra. Well done. Look, there's good. You caught it. Brilliant. All the animals are safe and sound. Now James can go to the zoo. Once all the animals were safely back in the trucks, they were ready to go. I'll telephone ahead to the Fat Controller to tell him we're on our way, said Harold. That's a good idea, puffed Thomas. Don't you think so, James? But James didn't say anything. He was worrying about how angry the Fat Controller would be when they arrived. On the journey, Thomas made sure they went straight there. When they arrived at the station, the fat controller was waiting for them. Thank goodness you're here, said the fat controller, who was very relieved to see them. And do you have an explanation for me? He said, turning to James. James didn't know quite what to say. I'm sorry, sir. I promise it will never happen again. James. You have caused confusion and delay, said the Fat Controller sternly. It's lucky that Thomas and Harold found you so quickly. Behind him, the troublesome truck snickered. As for you, he said, looking at the trucks, I've heard all about your tricks from James's driver. You're lucky I don't turn you all into scrap. The trucks went quiet when they heard that word. Thomas, James and the trucks all headed towards the zoo. The animals were unloaded and taken to their enclosures. Up the fat controller to decorate the zoo to celebrate the arrival of the animals. Use the balloons and flags at the side to decorate the zoo. Click and drag them to put them where you like. When you're finished, click on the arrow button at the bottom of the screen.
After the party was over, the fat controller went to talk to James and Thomas. Thomas, he said, you did a very good job finding James. You are a very useful engine. Then he spoke to James. I hope you've learned a lesson from today. James looked very sheepish. Yes, sir. I'm very sorry. Just remember, said the fat controller, always follow the directions and go straight there. After the fat controller had gone, Thomas felt sorry for James. Come on, James. Why don't we go and see the animals in the new homes? When James saw that the animals were settling in comfortably, he felt much better. All the visitors at the zoo were enjoying themselves, and even the fat controller seemed to have forgotten about James's little adventure. Although James didn't forget the lesson he had learned. You sure you want to finish playing? Click up I now.